Hello, uh, this is just an update over uh, this Raspberry Pi project that I'm working on, which is aimed to stream uh, various devices to the Raspberry Pi, like Steam or the PlayStation. Uh, so I'm going to show you uh, the process of connecting the Joy-Cons. So here, uh, at the moment, the, the device doesn't have any awareness of the Joy-Cons. They're not paired and they're not connected. Um, so what we can do is press the Joy-Con button at the top here. This loads the Joy-Con connection menu. So first, it's going to sort of, it's going to sort of step you through the process. So it's looking for the left Joy-Con first. It's grayed out at the moment. So let's just press the sync button. That's going to start doing its thing. And then once it's connected, it's going to turn blue, and the button's going to say it's connected. Um, so it's going to sort of look out for the, the Joy-Con. So there you go. It says it's connected. That's started to flash on a single LED, so now it's looking for the, the red Joy-Con. So let's turn that one on. So this one's flashing now. Oh, and now it's connected straight away again, so there we go. Um, so both of them are connected, and now it's looking for you to basically join them together. So you have to press ZL and ZR. So I'm just going to put my phone quickly to do that. So I've just done that, and now it's done. It's turned done there. So now we're completely set up. So now we can press X. This is just a kind of bypass going uh, through the the actual Bluetooth menu of the Raspberry Pi and stay in this sort of touchscreen interface. So now I can basically scroll through and select what I want to play. So let's load up the um, uh, let's load up Steam. So this is now connecting to my computer. Once it's done, it's going to load up Steam, and then the Joy-Cons should just work. Um, I can use the D-pad or the thumbstick to select what I want, and on this one I can press A to look through my library. And that's it. Thanks for watching.